What's up, Facebook Live? It's your boy Justin. Um, this is hashtag random ish episode two. Now, on the first video, you know, I just took some time to tell you what the show is going to be about, a little bit about myself, and just things I plan on doing. Now, with the second episode, I just wanted to um, tell everybody a little bit more about myself so you can know more about me. And because I feel like once you know more about me, you'll start to maybe get an idea of maybe certain things I'm going to talk about on the show or, you know, just things of that nature. And honestly, even after this video, even though you may know more about myself, you still never know what I'm going to you, know, you never know what I'm going to shoot. You never know what I'm going to post. That's why the show is called hashtag random ish. And for those who watch the video, you remember the motto for this show or you can call it tagline. Is it's hard being the ish, but somebody got to do it. So, to start off, I would have to start talking about something in a sense that really defines me, which is my love for music. I love music, it's been a major part of my life, always has been, always will be. I mean, I can start by naming some of the artists I listen to. Number one, always be Michael Jackson, always been my favorite artist for as long as I can remember. I don't have to go down this catalog. I mean, this catalog speaks for itself. I mean, you got hits that are going to last forever. You got Rock With You. You have uh, You Rock My World, Thriller, Billie Jean, Beat It, uh, Bad, The Way You Make Me Feel, Come Together. You got, I don't know if I said it already, but Butterflies, one of my favorites. You know, the, the, man, the man's music is incredible. You know, it's just, as I said, music that'll last forever and it speaks to your soul. It, It's very emotional music. That's a good way to put it. Very emotional music. But I also listen to people like, uh, if if, you stick, if I'm sticking with R&B, I listen to people like Trey Songs, Chris Brown, um, shoot, uh, Tank, Genuine Tyrese, TGT, slide that in there. <laughs> Who else? Uh, as far as rappers go, my favorite rapper will always be Twister. I still remember the first time I ever heard his voice was, of course, back in 96 on Poe Pimp by Do or Die Classic. Still bumping to this day. Um, I, who else? Dang, rappers, rappers. Um, I listen to a lot of rappers now that I think about it. I listen to Ludacris, Nelly, T.I. groups. I listen to 3-6 Mafia, favorite rap group, Bone Thugs and Harmony. I mean, shoot, I can sit here and talk about music for days. I mean, shoot, some people even say that uh, music may bring out my multiple personalities. But I, I also believe that if you ever want to know what type of mood I'm in, pay attention to what I'm listening to. And that will give you a clue. Um... Let me see. Movies. That's. I mean, I love movies. Anybody that knows me, family or otherwise, I'm big on movies. Always have been, always will be. My number one favorite movie is The Ten Commandments starring Char Charlton Heston. Let me get the man's name right. Uh, funny thing about that is I, it was one of those movies growing up that, you know, you probably never wanted to watch it. But the one time you decided to sit and watch it, it's like, okay, this is what I've been missing. But it's my number one favorite movie top of the list number two strong number two and yeah strong number two it would have to be the monster squad now for my friends and family definitely you guys know i love this movie hashtag wolfman's got nards but uh, it, it's just a classic it's one of those movies i grew up watching that was it, it was a sleepover movie you know especially during family reunion you know all the cousins would come sleep at my you know come over my house we all sleep oh this is a sleepover we go to blockbuster showing my age blockbuster and you know that would be one of the movies we would always rent so what else i mean i grew up watching the classic black and white universal horror movies from the 30s and 40s though i used to watch with my mom all the time mama love you miss you rest in peace um uh, i'm showing let me get my thoughts straight here um, I grew up watching things like Three Stooges, old black and white Tarzan movies, Abbott and Costello. Hey, 
when you grow up in a house with someone who watches classic movies, I mean, they stick with you. Like, I'm hey, I'm so old school that I watch old school black and white Sherlock Holmes films. But I'm big on horror. You know, if I would ever make movies, I would probably focus on the horror genre because a lot of the scary movies these days are very predictable. You can predict who's going to die and what's going to happen within the first 30 minutes. You shouldn't be able to do that, especially with a horror movie. But I'm big on comedy. I'm always down for a good laugh. Shout out to one of my favorite comedians, Kevin Hart. The man is hilarious. I've seen all your films. I will support you constantly. Uh, shout out to Cedric the Entertainer, Steve Harvey, rest in peace, Bernie Mac. I constantly listen to D.L. Hughley on his morning show. I mean, I mean, these guys, I mean, hey, original kings of comedy. They are not the kings of comedy for no reason. Um, let me see, what else could I say about myself here? I'm talking about music, I'm talking about movies. I love to read, but specifically, I read comic books. I love comic books. They have been an outlet. I have not read any of mine in a while. I need to get back to it. Um, I'm very, very big on them. I have Spider-Man, X-Men, Thor, Green Lantern, Iron Man. I'm, I'm big on these comic books, but more so the comic books from back in the day because the storylines were better. And of course, the more famous storylines are the ones being used for the comic book films. And that's just jumping back into movies because the comic book movies now are incredible. I mean, Iron Man. Incredible Hulk, Avengers. I mean, these movies are great. I just bought Captain America Civil War. have not had the time to sit and watch it, but of course, I already, I've already i seen the movie, went to the theaters. I think I saw it like once, maybe twice. The movie is incredible, and I cannot wait for the Black Panther movie. And I want to sidebar on that Black Panther movie real quick. Sidebar. When it comes to the Black Panther movie, uh, I feel that, of course, we as black people... We always come together when uh, when all of these movies about African Americans and their history are put out. And there's nothing wrong with that. Always do that. But for this movie, I'm asking all of my friends, I mean, especially black people, we need to get together when this movie comes out and support it to the fullest. I want this movie to be the biggest movie that Marvel ever released. I mean, it's the first movie where we have an African American who is a king of his own nation. 90%, if not a hundred percent of this cast will be African American. This movie needs to be supported. Look it up, find out when it's released, spread the word. I want everybody to go support this film when it is released. Black Panther, keep it in your notes. But back to what I was talking about. Comic book movies. Comic book movies, incredible. I love them, especially Marvel. I can't wait for Justice League to be released. I know that there was some trouble with Batman v Superman. Not too many people really liked it. But, hey, I mean, what can you do? If you're at DC right now, Marvel is just destroying you when it comes to movies. But it, And it's funny because Marvel is destroying when it comes to movies, but DC is killing it when it comes to TV shows. Um, and, you know, I think that'll be next. I'm going to start talking about TV shows. Now, I'm going to just say, yes, I am 30 years old, but my number one, all time favorite TV show to this day will always be Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, I know you're like, hey, he's 30 years old. I don't care. I would rather watch not even just Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but the other iterations of the show. I would watch I would watch Power Rangers more so than any other show that's on TV now. I mean, there's just, yeah, I would. Because uh, the show still stands. I mean, the show just celebrated its 23rd birthday. Not too many shows can say that. And that speaks for itself. But, of course, I grew up watching all types of classic shows. Especially around the 90s. You had uh, VR Troopers, Beetleborgs. Uh, especially superhero type shows. But you could also talk about classic shows like... Um, what show was it? This show I used to watch called City Guys. Some of you may remember it. Some of you may not. It, star, uh, it stars the guy who played Sweetness in Roll Bounce. Look it up. It's a very classic show. You can look it up on YouTube. And then there was uh, the show I used to watch called Hang Time. And I think Anthony Anderson used to star on this show. It's, about, it's a show about a basketball team. You know, I'm, I remember all these classic shows, and I love them. But it's all of these things 
from my life that make me who I am. You know, the music, the movies, the comic books. Oh, and one more thing I want to discuss. Well, let me say, I don't want to say one more thing because there might be more as I'm talking. But another thing that I want to discuss that I love so, so much, which is wrestling. I am a huge wrestling fan. Always have been. My favorite wrestler to this day. Well, let me just come back one quick second. I'm a big fan of WWE. My favorite wrestling company, period, point blank. But my favorite wrestler to this day is the Phenom. The dead man, the one and only Undertaker. The man who you all know rolls his eyes in the back of his head. I'm not going to do that now because I'm not trying to hurt myself. No, sir. But I like Undertaker, Kevin Nash, Triple H, Randy Orton. I mean, I, I could sit here for days and just name some of my favorite wrestlers and tag teams. But, hey, jump uh, talking about tag teams. I like the New Age Outlaws. I like uh, DX. I like... Um, shoot. I, you know what? I'm not even going to scratch my brain. I know some... Oh, well, some more wrestlers. Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man Randy Savage, Hulk Hogan, um, who I saw for the first time in Memphis years ago. Very big moment for me, especially as a wrestling fan. Um, Scott Hall, who some of you may know as Razor Ramon. Who else can I possibly think of? Um, uh, some of the guys from this generation. John Cena, of course, always be a fan. Uh, you know what? It's a lot of wrestlers escaping me right now. The sad part is, after I shoot this video, I'll probably think of some more, but it's like, hey, there's no point. You already shot it, whatever. But I just really wanted to talk to you guys or anybody taking the time to even watch this video and just let you guys know a little bit more about me. And I uh, also, I want anybody who watches this video to take the time to go check out my group, Justin Merritt, The Enigma. I'm going to start plugging it as much as possible. I want you guys to go to the, uh, go to the page, look at any articles, pictures, videos, whatever I post, comment. Tell me what you think we can discuss. And do the same thing on the videos. Like the videos. Love them. Uh, shoot. Leave your comments. Hey, man. I, I'm very serious about this. I, when I started this show the other day, like I said, there are going to be more episodes. And there are going to be episodes where I'm going to be with my friends, with my family. You know, this is just the start of something new for me. And I just ask for you guys' support. And however much support, whatever you give, it doesn't matter. As long as you're giving it from your heart. So... Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I really want to talk about? Sorry, people keep walking by. I'm in the parking lot at Walmart right now, so if you keep, see me, you know, looking off every few seconds, people are looking as they're walking by. They probably think I'm talking to myself. Do I care? No. But, um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else I could talk about? I'm talking about music, movies, books. Um, I'm trying to think think let me see oh man I don't know <laughs> like I said this is very random I didn't necessarily just plan this out like I said and that, that's that's the best thing about it being random hashtag random ish <laughs> well um, you know what I think I'm just gonna end this video see you guys in the next one you never know when it's gonna be posted and remember it's hard being the ish, but somebody got to do it. This your boy Justin. I'm out.